think he looked pretty good. You know, obviously, I think yeah, some time constraints on how long he can go, but you know, it's always good to have a you know one of our leaders out on the floor for sure. When you look what Utah did during the off season, how much of a challenge can they be not just tomorrow but throughout the season? Um, I mean, one thing one of the things about their team, they're always going to be uh, very good, and very solid defensively. You have, to, you have to protect the ball. You have to be uh, very strategic with your drives. Go birds in there in the paint, clogging up the paint. So, you know, you just got to play a very smart game. A lot of things this year, you mentioned that the first game, the system, personnel, player, coaches, all that stuff. In terms of the offense, uh, where do you think you guys are in terms of everyone recognizing it and being able to find counters when, when a team fits? I mean, we, just, we practice on it every day. And, you know, I think every day will get us better and better acclimate what we want to do. LeBron, Utah's kind of primary creator is your both their guards. I'm kind of coming over with Mitchell. I'm thinking way back in the series when you guarded Derrick Rose from this entire playoff series. Is there a certain way you approach a team that, that has you know, those smaller playmakers as their main creators as opposed to a big wing? Uh, no. Um, uh, you know, because no matter if you're a big wing or a small creator, you, you're able to create. You create your own shot, create for others. You know, so you just have to be in tune with the game plan. Say it again. Yeah. What do you think of the performance What do you mean? Is that a? Is that a? Is that a? It's what do we mean? Question to ask yeah. What, what, what do you mean? What, 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 what's your take on his last shot? What was my take on his last shot? Um, I think even with him losing his footing, he still got a great look. That was more impressive than anything. I just hope none of these. Uh, uh, so-called uh, basketball trainers try to actually say that was a real move. <laughs> yeah. I've seen him make that move many a times. He just he tripped. But the most impressive is that he still got up and got a great look. Asking for a friend here, do you have to have, like, the different DVR boxes for each one? Or do you yeah. Do yeah. So you have, like, how many, like, 10, 12 DVR? I got a couple. So you, basically somebody just comes in, you're like, hey, I need to be able to watch all these games. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> More than like a sports bar? Nah, I'm not a sports bar type of guy. It's more like a LeBron bar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mean to, to like go too hard into this, but when you're watching that many games, yeah. right? Will you? How often will you end up focusing on one versus kind of just be aware of the others and then will you tape some and watch? No, nah, I watch all of them at the same time. I'm, I'm serious. No, I believe you. Right. I can watch but, every yeah. last one of them at the same time, and then depending on the game and the score. Um, like the Brooklyn game in general, um, I saw the last, um, you know, possession tie game. Well, Kyrie went up three, hit the three. Cat came back, tied the game. Kyrie got a pick and roll, got ice, pocket pass to Jared Allen, missed two free throws, rebound Torian Prince, block shot. Andrew Wiggins missed overtime, so I watched all the way until Kyrie missed the, you know, the shot at the end of the, you know, the overtime, and then I watched the rest of the games as well. I watched. Um, obviously, a lot of the OKC um, Utah game because we play uh, Utah tomorrow, and CP is a great friend of mine. I watched all of the Cavs Orlando game, all of the Boston. Do you want me to keep going? No, I hear. I, hear. I watch every game. I pretty <laughs> yeah. much know every what happened. Yeah. So Conley struggles from the field. Do you see he won't. That as, no, it's the worst thing that could have happened. Right. What, how much of the balance is entertainment? How much is sort of keeping an eye on the Entertainment? What do you mean? Well, like, I, mean, obviously I don't watch basketball for entertainment. I'm a fan of the game as far as uh, I'm a cerebral guy. The entertainment is like watching a concert um, for me, watching a concert and being able to sit there and just be like, you know, you know oh, this is great. You know, for me, basketball is, is like uh, reading a great book for me. You know, I don't believe great books are entertainment. I think it's something that just continues to strengthen the mind. You know, and that's what I love about basketball. It continues to strengthen my mind every time I watch it. And watching the Utah game, how much did you analyze what they do and what you guys try to do? I didn't, I didn't uh, analyze too much into it because it's the first game, you know. But, um, you know, they have the majority of their team back. They added Bogdanovich. They added Conley, Jeff Green, um, you know. But for the majority, um, you know, Ed Davis is another addition. But for the majority, they have their nucleus back. They have their coaching staff. They have their system in place, which has been in the last couple of years. But I don't really take too much out of just one game. Uh, Conley struggled. Uh, he missed, I think, eight of his right-hand floaters, which has been a money of his his whole career. So, you know, I, I didn't analyze that too much. Um, so, you know. Do you remember all the details? Do you ever jot down notes or anything like that? 
No, nah, it's just in my mind. Yeah, I don't, I don't really jot down notes too much. It just goes into my mind. I'm able to store it. Like Jay-Z? Yeah, like Jay-Z.